video from my March 12th, 2017 dive to the UB-88. The conditions on the water were pretty good. Very, very calm seas, very, very foggy. The conditions on the UB-88, not quite as good. Because it was so foggy, it was really, really dark down deep. On the surface, there was just a little bit of a current, and that let me do a really nice floating deco stop where I was able to keep right at about 23 or so feet for my 20 foot stop. Down below, it was a different story. The current was ripping from the bow to the stern of the U-boat. As you can see, it was really, really dark. There was also quite a bit of particulate in the water. And I don't know if that was caused by the current or what. On the second dive, the visibility was a tiny fraction of this. We tried to make our way over to the African Queen. Here you can see the bow of the boat, and this is on the starboard side. These are the four torpedo tubes. The outer hull has fallen away, and you can see it there in rubble. This is really kind of a cool sight, considering this is actually a World War I, not World War II U-boat. Here you can kind of get an idea of just how dark it was when the GoPro is not balanced to my light. Here's the torpedo tubes from the port side. I've basically worked my way down the wreck and I'm turning around. Here is me going down the length of the wreck on the top. I'm not actually kicking here. I just let the current take me. You can see that the Gargonians and sea fans are fairly well bent over. Periodically on the U-boat, there are portions of the hull that have collapsed in. There was an outer hull and an inner hull, and you can see where portions of both, frankly, have just eroded over time. It's been down there for quite some time. And with any wreck, it's an oasis for sea life. You can see all sorts of small schooling fish. My dive buddy Carlos had mentioned that there's actually a way to do a little bit of penetration of the wreck. There's a small opening on the very top, just before the conning tower, and he sees it here, and he sh he's going to demonstrate sh soon just the way you have to get in. He told me on the boat that it's so small, you have to take your bailout bottles out. You drop your deep one into it, or clip it just on the outside, then clip your rich bailout off, and then make your way in. Here he's showing that you can just barely fit if you squeeze through. <laughs> and the bailout that he's got will clearly not allow him to make it in. I can't imagine squeezing through a hole that small in 190 feet of water, but to each their own. Here you can see inside the U-boat, there's quite a bit of salt and sediment that's deposited over the years. As I mentioned, the African Queen was really, really bad viz, but the highlight, besides watching the giant container ships pass by, was a mola mola that actually swam over to us to check us out. He was on the surface, didn't look like he was getting picked at for any parasites or anything like that. And I managed to lean over the side of the boat and stick my GoPro in the water in order to get these shots. That's why it's bobbing here, because I'm literally leaning over the side of the boat, sticking my camera in the water to get these shots. It's so cool to see the largest bony fish whose primary diet is jellyfish. 